are we doing the pirate thing again? Arg, call him then. No, look, that kind of eye eye. We found what we were looking for. Wow, an adult eye eye. Eye eyes are one of the coolest types of lemur on the planet. Yeah, and the largest nocturnal primate in the world. They definitely don't look like they're related to lemurs, monkeys, and apes, do they? But they are. And the only way to find out if this one is Goblin's mom is to stick with her and look for clues. <gasps> oh, it's that special bony third finger. She's tapping, Martin. Awesome. And those bat-like ears. Look at them swiveling, listening real close. I don't hear anything. But that finger is leading somewhere, all right. We gotta follow that finger. Aviva, Jimmy, come here. Where did this hole come from? I just did a full shell inspection and everything was in tip-top shape. And now look, it's right through to the shell vent system. It looks like a woodpecker hole. Yeah, but there aren't even any woodpeckers in Madagascar, so it can't be that. Huh? Hey, Goblin, what are you doing? Fritzing out the shell fan's emergency shutoff switch, that's what! Hey, go easy on the turtle. Those teeth of yours are even sharper than they look. How many of these has he done? I gotta do another shell check. Why do you keep making us think about woodpeckers? Aww. Hey, by the way, Jimmy, we shouldn't leave all those vents open with Little Goblin around. Somebody needs to close them. Hi, Captain. <gasps> hey! Hear something? She does! Whoa, look at those sharp teeth go! No wonder they always keep growing. If you're chewing on trees like that, the only primate with ever-growing teeth. Right there, the eye eye. Whoa, she's really digging for a treasure now. What'll she find in there? She's gonna use that cool finger. I can't believe it. That finger is super bendable, with ball and socket joints that can go in any direction. She found a huge beetle larvae. <laughs> Nothing like a big old tasty grub for an eye eye. They'll eat rammy nuts, nectar, and fungi too. But digging out grubs is the eye eye's specialty. Chris, where are you? Why would he have left his parachute? He didn't go looking for fusas, did he? Whoa! Oh, oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't see you there. Cool. A Madagascar hissing cockroach. One of the biggest cockroaches in the world. Love the hissing sound you make. <laughs> Definitely stopped me from sitting on you. So the old, I'm gonna startle you and make you back off hiss, really does work. There you go. Get back to eating rotten logs and fruits and stuff. Huh? Chris? Is that you? A ten wreck. Oh, whoa, well, he's going someplace in a hurry. Whoa! I don't believe it. A fusa! Incredible! In the trees on the ground, no creature safe with a fusa around. Hmm, you know what? Somehow I get a feeling. If I follow the fusa, I just might find my brother. Hey, wait up! Oh, lost him. Human climbing powers just don't cut it when you're following a fusa. Yikes, I better get back to that parachute so they can find me. But which way is it? Might need to refuel first. Only one bite left. Should I? Hmm, if I eat it now, then I'll be all out of food until they find me. But if I save it, then maybe I won't be so hungry later. Oh, who am I kidding? I've got to eat! <gasps> hey, where'd my granola bar go? You, a Fusa cub! 
You look like you're only about four months old. Hey, but where's your mama? Over here! Martin! How'd you find me? <laughs> I just followed the Fusa, and she led me right to you. Like you said, it's a Fusa Palooza. We found them, bro! <laughs> yeah! Ow, 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 ow! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Easy with those semi retractable claws, buddy. <laughs> a key to climbing! Those sharp claws really grip onto the tree trunks. Ow! <laughs> but I'm not a tree trunk! <laughs> You're doing great, buddy! You'll be up in those trees in no time! Up in the trees? I almost forgot! Danita! She's stealing lemurs! We gotta stop her! What? But we're already late for Mother's Day. Right, so we gotta stop her fast. Any ideas? Ooh, I think the answer is right in front of your face. Of course, we've gotta be the Fusa! Listo! Chameleon power discs complete. Woohoo! Yeah! Wow, Aviva! Thanks! You're the inventiest inventor. Activate chameleon powers! This is awesome! What are you doing? Ring chip. Oh, oh. The chameleon oh. programming has malfunctioned. The tongue mechanism shoots out every time you open your mouth. Cool. Huh? Mm. But you guys don't have control of those tongues. Every time you open your mouths and talk, your chameleon tongues shoot out. We'll just keep our mouths closed then. Till we get the hang of it. To, to the, the Ring Chip rescue. rescue! Okay, if that's chameleon speed, I'm worried. Let's split up and cover more ground. Good luck, bro! Oh! <laughs> Watch it, Martin! Not again. <laughs> How are they doing, Koki? Put it this way, Aviva. You might want to start working on Ring Chip 2.0. Uh. I'll just wait for a lemur to come by me. My camouflage hides me. I blend into the forest, ready for ambush. My eyes move, looking in every direction. But the rest of me stays still until a golden bamboo lemur comes by. Hello. Just checking to see if you accidentally took a Viva's ring chip. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Okay, you didn't. Sorry for the inconvenience. Enjoy your lunch. Gotta keep looking. That's it, Mama Tenrak. Keep calling. Yeah. Our only hope is if she and Pokey hear each other. I can't believe my treasure hunt caused this mess. It's not your fault, Chris. Anything can happen in an adventure. But that doesn't mean you stop adventuring. Yeah. Wait, look. I think she hears something. Just show us the way, Mama T. Follow that Tenrec. Hmm. Whoa, <laughs> Pokey! Hey, Pokey, wait! Oh, <laughs> Pokey, where are you going? Oh no, Pokey! <laughs> Your mom, Martin. There you are! Hey, you found us! Well, really, they found each other with those awesome quills. Well, 
We may not have finished the treasure hunt, but am I glad to see you guys. Actually, play that clue you found, Jimmy. You got it. Ride the river downstream to a hole in the riverbank by the setting sun. That's somebody's home, and your Tenrek treasure hunt is done. Hmm. A hole? Huh. You mean that hole? Yep, that's the one. So Martin and Pokey found the hole in the riverbank without even knowing it. Well, I am pretty good at treasure hunts, you know. <laughs> but whose home is it? Whoa. A web-footed Tenrek. <gasps> Maybe the least known of all the Tenreks. And my favorite. Martin, check out the waterproof skin and those webbed feet. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! Awesome! That's perfect for swimming and river living. It's called adaptive radiation. They're all Tenreks but each one has evolved with features they need to make it in different habitats. I had no idea there were so many different kinds of Tenreks. Yup, in Madagascar, there's a Tenrek treasure wherever you look. Whether it's above ground, or underground, and in the water. And they all look different because of where they live. Well, you guys did it. You found all five cool Tenreks. Treasure hunt complete. That was Yay! awesome. I'll take these guys back now while you guys have a swim with the rare Tenrek. Somebody's got to do it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Tenrek's rule! <gasps> hey! Get away from there! Shoo! Shoo! I think it's safe leaving the miniaturizer here. Last thing we need is a couple of supersized lemurs running around the Tortuga. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! <Whoa. laughs> wow! How far was that? Afar! But here, I'll measure the next one. Wow! Six meters! That would be like you and me when we're real size, jumping from the basketball net on one side of the court to the other end in a single leap. Whoa. Here we go again. Hey, Martin! Lemur back riding was a great idea! Oof. Thanks, Chris. Now I just gotta give our ride a name. Well, he is a great leaper. And when he leaps, he gets a lot of air. Oh, that's it! Your name is Lemur! Whoa! Ah! Ah! Hang on! Hey, now we're hanging around getting a snack. Whoa! <laughs> Lemur back riding his wild. Hey, here's the rest of the group. Get ready for some leaping. Hey! What's going on? Well, bro, you wanted soft and furry. Now we've got lots of soft and furry. Yeah! It's so cool how they all hug and sleep in a big old cuddle huddle. <laughs> Pretty cool mission today, huh? The best! And I could hang out with these guys all day long. Oh yeah, the old leaf parachute trick. Hey, why don't we change it up a little bit? What? Leaf surfing! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> yes! Leaf surfing! Hank five! Woohoo! <laughs> Catching a breeze! Woo! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh my! Yeah! Oh, way to go! Wow! I've got to get a closer look at those lemur legs in action. I'm thinking there might be a great power suit here. Okay! Bro, what are you doing? Hold this. You'll see! Oh. 
Now that's what I call vertical clinging and leaping. Vertical clinging and leaping? What's that? That. Wow! Ah! The special way safaka lemurs leap through the trees. See Bob over there? A safaka clings to a vertical trunk of a tree. He pushes off with his powerful hind feet, then twists in the air, reaching forward with his feet. And lands on another vertical trunk. This is a really special creature ability. I've got to program some lemur powers. Now, just to finish the programming on these Sapaka lemur powers. Hold it, Aviva. You don't want to miss this. Whoa! That's so cool! They're like lemur dancers. Because their legs are so specialized for tree leaping, they can't even walk or run. This is the only way they can move on the ground. And they don't like to be down for long, because on the ground, those amazing legs become the Safaka's weakness. Huh? Huh? A wheel of cheese? With a pygmy hedgehog, Tenrek? He's heading right for the spiny plants and is going to crash. <laughs> Easy as cheesy. I got this one, bro. Reverse cheese roll! <laughs> Ouch. Hey, buddy. Rolling around in a cheese wheel is no place for you. Pygmy Hedgehog Tenrex belong living free in the wild. Emmental, a European cheese. Interesting. Hey, it's Mrs. President and Fuzz Top. How could she land on all these spines? She must have super tough hands and feet. Wait, they're soft. And not just soft, super duper unbelievably soft. Then how do you land on all those spines? Oh, I get it. She positions her hands and feet, so they land on the few spaces in between the spines. <gasps> what? The troop disappeared? Oh, no. Oh, don't worry. We'll find them. Come on. Hmm. Ah, the tails. They help the troop stay together. Ringtails hold that tail high like a flag so the rest of the troop can follow. <laughs> We're coming, Mom! Psst. Huh? It's me. What are you finding out so far? I mean, besides you being the lowest lemur in the group, that is. <laughs> Very funny. Don't worry, I'll find a way to move up in rank. But I'm still looking for clues to the mystery of why they were fighting with Troop Klingon. Hey! Mm, what are you up to? Oh yeah, just what I thought. What? He sent Mark this tree. Lemurs make a smelly oil on the wrists that they rub onto trees and logs in the forest. Leaving the smell is like leaving a little message. Well, what does the message say? Read it. Uh, with your nose, I guess. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It says, this is our place. Stay out! Who's he talking to? Other lemurs in other troops. Troop Tamarin is marking their territory, and this is the boundary of their home turf. Hang on. Koki, come in. Koki here. Are you getting this? Oh, yeah. I've got your coordinates, and I'm marking the troops' home range right now. Great. Okay, dear any other lemur that smells this smell, this is our turf. Please stay out. Signed, the newest member of Troop Tamarind. There, I like writing letters with lemur stink. <laughs> oh, uh, Jimmy, uh, thanks for doing some dusting. Cleaning up? I'm not cleaning up. I'm scent marking my stuff. Really? Yeah. This is Jimmy's turn. Please stay out. Martin, come in, little lemur. 
Hey, Koki, we're busy scent marking, too. <laughs> Everybody in the troop helps. Well, why are they so territorial anyway? Why are they trying to protect? Uh, you're looking at it. You? Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> Not me. This. A tamarind fruit? Well, yeah, all the food, really. The troop wants to make sure to protect an area big enough to keep everyone fed, plus sleeping areas and living space, too. A new golden bamboo lemur has been born. Right. She is still very young and clinging to her mother's back. I think she was born just days ago. They are so rare and so endangered. It is good news. We can't leave Madagascar now. Turn this turtle around. I'm on it. Golden Bamboo Lemur! Golden Bamboo Lemur! Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! So rare and endangered! Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! Golden Bamboo Lemurs! Yes! There they are! Wow! The Golden Bamboo Lemur. One of the rarest animals on the planet. Nobody even knew they existed till about 20 years ago. Really? Yeah, and then a pair was found in 1986. It was the discovery of a new species. And they only live here, in a small area of mountain rainforest. And there are only 1,000 living in the wild. And now 1,001, look. <gasps> a new golden bamboo lemur has been born. Ooh. Oh. Aww. I'll name you Gold Puff. Freeze it! I want that one. That little golden monkey! Uh, I think the little girl said lemur. Whatever, fine. This golden lemur is more special than the monkey. It will fit perfectly with the golden dress I'm wearing to the Golden Fashion Forward Awards. Full speed to Madagascar! Yes, Lena. I deserve to be dressed in gold. <laughs> oh, they are such a quiet lemur, so secretive. And that's why for the longest time, no one even knew that they existed. And check this out. Millions of years ago, the continents looked a little different than they do today, with lemur ancestors living almost all over the world. They lived together with monkeys on the continent of Africa. But monkeys were smarter and more aggressive and may have outcompeted them. Eventually, some lemur ancestors made their way to the island of Madagascar. Here, the lemur ancestors were free from monkeys and other predators. So they multiplied and evolved into the many different kinds of lemurs on Madagascar today. Oh, I know what we could do. <laughs> what, Danita, what? Get me my sewing kit and some furry material. Yes, Danita. And it's amazing what they can eat. Golden bamboo lemurs crunch through bamboo. And it's not only really hard to chew, but bamboo has a poison called cyanide in it. So how do they eat it? Their stomachs and intestines can somehow handle the poison. 